Yes, well, in 1995, late 1995, I wrote an online manifesto, The Hedonistic Imperative, which in spite of its rather debauched title is actually intended as a morally serious plea to phase out the biology of suffering. Um, and in 1997, Nick, who was at that stage a postgrad at the London School of Economics, stumbled across the manifesto online, uh, sent me a couple of uh, probing questions stroke criticisms. Uh, one thing led to another and we met up and chatted and Nick sounded me out about the possibility of setting up what we eventually decided to call the World Transhumanist Association. Uh, I confess initially I had one or two doubts. I associated uh, transhumanism with a distinctively uh, West Coast uh, American feel. I remember we tend to have incredibly crude and simplistic stereotypes of each other's ideas and at that stage I very much associated uh, transhumanism with extropianism and free market fundamentalism. As I said, a, a simplistic parody of, 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 of what extropianism was about. But yes, the World Transhumanist Association was uh, set up with the idea of offering some kind of umbrella to the different strands of transhumanism. In the early days, the World Transhumanist Association, it was very informal. I hoped setting, you know, registering the domain names, uh, websites, mailing lists, that kind of uh, stuff. Nick and I were just coordinators. Uh, things really uh, took off in terms of the growth of membership when James Hughes uh, agreed to become uh, executive director. James is this extremely uh, efficient, hard-headed uh, uh, thinker with sociological depth too. Sociological depth is one thing that some transhumanists perhaps arguably uh, lack and and James's conception of transhumanism, uh, democratic left liberal transhumanism is certainly quite distinctive, uh, uh, and there are other political flavours of transhumanism too of what would traditionally be called a more uh, libertarian or free market bent. But yes, I'm not going to attempt to compress the entire history of the transhumanist movement o over the past. 15 years or so into a few sentences, but as we know, transhumanism has now grown into the flourishing movement it is today with many, many different strands. But I think it's fair to say that all transhumanists do share this commitment to transcending our biological limitations via technology.